So wouldn't you know it, we have another new designer release. This one wasn't even announced before it was released on Macy's website, and I found out about it two days ago on Ross's Live, so thank you to Beach Life, who was on his live and said that he ended up finding it in his Macy's, and then we both picked it up the same day. And so today, I wanted to be talking about a fragrance by Hugo Boss. It is Boss Bottled Pacific. And so without further ado, let's get it. <laughs> What's going on everyone welcome back so as you guys know i do a lot of designer releases and today is no different i am going over a new fragrance by a house that, uh, that is really not universally liked they know most people know it as either a very vo poor performing line or just one that releases a bunch of just basic fragrances that's what a lot of people know it by I don't specifically know it by that because I really do like the Boss Bottled line. My wife loves the Boss Bottled, the original, has always loved it. It was one of my original fragrances and it's going to continue to be in my collection for a long time. Boss Bottled uh, Eau de Parfum is a nice one. Then you also do have Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum, which is probably the best in the line. Boss Bottled Marine was released last year. Last year was kind of a mixed bag because they released two. Boss Bottled Marine had one of the best openings of the year. Then Boss Bottled Parfum was just a giant bag of dog crap. Um, it, it, well, and I can say it wasn't horrible. It's just it was uh, not really what people were expecting. And it just came off as a basic fragrance that had some things going wrong with it. But with that said, that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we are going to be talking about the new release by Hugo Boss. It is Boss Bottled Pacific Limited Edition. So again, limited editions usually mean they're going to be out for about a year, uh, and then they'll figure out maybe a year or two, and then they'll figure out whether or not they wanna pull it or leave it out a little bit longer. But they always end up going by the wayside at some point in time. And sometimes you can find these on discounters after about three months. Sometimes it takes a year, it all depends. So again, we're just gonna get straight into it. While I'm opening the box, make sure to just hit your brother up with a little subscribe if you're not, and also make sure to hit the bell if you want my video sooner. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and hit the like button. Like buttons always help out the algorithm, get me put on more people's channels if you want to see my channel grow. So as far as the box here, it is actually really nice. I saw the bottle online. It looks really cool. It looks like it's blue. And so we have the blue outline here on the front it says Boss Bottled and then Pacific Limited Edition Eau de Toilette, 100 milliliters. And then on the back, it does have the notes. Usually I don't do notes in my first impressions, but it says that the top notes are Lemon Essence and Salted Accord. Heart notes are Coconut Accord and Cypress. And base notes are Sandalwood notes and Cashmere Wood. I don't like the word accord uh, sometimes with Boss Bottled because when they say accord, a lot of times that means synthetic. And sometimes when Boss Bottled have accords uh, no listed in their notes, it does come off and ring as synthetic, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but with Boss Bottled lines, sometimes it is. But I'm going in this with a very kind of muted tone as to whether or not I'm going to like or love this or hate it. So this is the bottle, really, really cool. I like that, it would look really cool in the collection. It has kind of that almost midnight teal blue looking, uh, like the Pacific Ocean really. That's the color that it was going for, I guess. <laughs> here and there we go and it has a nice atomizer they always do get a little one in the hand spray one in the air hmm okay a lot very salty very salty right off the opening definitely got that coconut in there the opening like couple seconds here is very uh, harsh almost very muddled it is settling down quite quickly though. So yeah, um, again, this looks like it's gonna be a spring and summer fragrance and that is what it's smelling like. Uh, again, it's based, last year was called Boss Bottled Marine and it was apple, uh, it had mint and cinnamon and it wasn't really a marine fragrance. This one was Pacific and based on the notes, it does look like it is going to be an aquatic, uh, sea salty type fragrance. There's definitely no watery type notes in here. This is nice. 
It's settling down nice. The opening I wasn't sure about. That's why I wanted to let it sit and talk for a second. Yeah, it's definitely coming off a little bit synthetic, but with that said, it's not one that, again, like the other ones that come off with those accords, it comes off like real synthetic, almost like something that you would pick up at a rack store. Yeah, this is actually quite nice for a Boss Bottled. It's nothing that's going to be uh, out of the box, something that you haven't smelled something similar to before. It smells like it's just doing a twist on something like Le Beau. Uh, that coconut note in a chord, that coconut accord is definitely coming forward here. There's a little bit of a lemon. Um, it's a little bit of a zesty citrus, clean citrus, but it's not pushing through as to say this is a lemon heavy fragrance or a citrus heavy fragrance. I'm getting little wafts of it. Every time I smell it, I smell either a lot of it or a little bit of it but you're really focusing on almost like a salted coconut. That's really what this is smelling like right now. It's a little bit musky. There's almost a little bit of an earthiness in here as well. An aromatic tone, that's the best way to put it. What else is in here? Cypress, okay, so it's the cypress. There's cashmere wood in this, so it's bringing off a little bit of like a, a woody effervescence. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. It's, again, nothing that's breaking the bank here, but it's something that I would definitely like to have in my collection. It would be a nice daytime random pull in the warmer days. I wouldn't see myself wearing this. I would say this would be good maybe 60 degrees or above. Um, in something like a real nice sunny day, if you want to have something that's on the sweeter side. Again, this is similar to uh, Le Beau. Like if you have Le Beau and then you take that and you add in a lot of salt, uh, that is pretty much what you're getting here with a little bit of an aromatic background, which LeBeau does have as well. Um, it doesn't feel like it's the same type of coconut that you get from LeBeau, but it is in the same realm because coconut is coconut. It just has a little bit more of a synthetic coconut in this. Yeah, so this is actually quite nice. So this is Boss Bottle Pacific. Uh, it is sitting a little bit closer to the skin, but that is kind of what rings true with all of the, uh, I keep saying that, rings true. It's kind of what you get from most of the Boss Bottled line. And so what I'm gonna guess from this, I will do a full review in a week or two, but as you guys all know, to get you the full performance. But as of right now, it just seems like it is like most of the Boss Bottled where it's pushing out a little bit above moderate in the opening, and then it's starting to settle down quickly. And when it settles down, it's probably going to be probably a moderate projector for about two to three hours and probably last about four. I would say that's probably what you're going to get from this release again. For a daytime flanker, I think that that would be something that I'm not really too worried about. You spray it on some clothes, get an extra hour or two, and that's all you really need from a daytime spring and summer sweet flanker like this, like Le Beau, like pretty much any of the Boss bottles that you would use in the spring and summer. Um, yeah, so again, a new release. Uh, if you guys want to find it, it is going for uh, for the 100 milliliter. I believe it is 93 or $94 on Macy's website site right now, and which is actually a pretty, uh, I would say a pretty high price for it. I would say to maybe try this out, and then if they have a Macy's sale, 15% off would be a really good price, but I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I think it's a nice random pull for the daytime in the late spring and summer fragrance. Um, it's like a late spring summer fragrance for sure. Uh, outside of that, yeah, that's, there's nothing really else to write home about here. It hasn't changed much, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it just a couple minutes, tell you guys if I do sense any differences as we get into about 20 to 30 minutes, and then I'll be right back. Peace. So we are back just to do a very quick recap here of Boss Bottled Pacific. Um, it's a limited edition again. And so we're at 25 minutes now. The fragrance really hasn't changed much. Uh, that lemon that was in the opening, again, you only get small wafts of it. It's nothing that is a super citrus fragrance. It's just mixed in. Really what you're looking at is a salted coconut with aromatics. That is what you get. It's a sweet spring and summer daytime fragrance. I would say later in the spring, depending on where you live. Um, this, for somebody who's living in LA or Texas or Florida or something like that right now, would be a good fragrance if you like coconut. If you don't like coconut, you're not going to like this. 
Again, to me, it's almost like if you have a salted version of Lebeau uh, that has a slightly different take on the coconut, add in a little bit of a zesty lemon. And then as we got here to the dry down, again, there's not much that changed. I don't sense any more of that lemon. The coconut and salt definitely pulled up even more. And then you do get a little bit of a uh, woodiness coming in. I don't know, it's, it's like a light woodiness, so I'm guessing it's that sandalwood. And then you have the aromatics in the background and a little bit of an effervescent woodiness from that uh, cashmere wood. There's nothing else that I can pick up from this fragrance that is unique to it that's not listed in the notes. Um, again, there is some aromatics, maybe some lavender in here as well, but nothing that springs forward to say that's something that I need to mention to you guys. Um, yeah, so I, I'm not going to continue this anymore. I don't think it needs to. I think a 10 minute video is fine for this. This is Boss Bottle Pacific. I think it is a 7.5 out of 10 just based on the opening. I would definitely wear it. It's an average fragrance, a little bit above average for the smell. I will add it to my collection. I will wear it as a random pool. It's not going to be a signature or anything for me, but for a nice late spring summer daytime wear i will have it as a random pool again we'll probably get about four hours five hours on this i will let you know i'll update you in the full video as well as if the fragrance has changed further down the road so again let me know if you've tried this i know some people are getting their uh, nose on it it is in stores now on macy's website and in some macy's i know dillard's also has it as well mo from my uh subscribers told me that so thanks mo and again we will be back with another video i have a couple new releases that are coming as well as a new release full review that I've already spoke about, but we're going to be doing a full review and some other videos. So thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and be back with another one. Peace out.